Want to become a data analyst in 2025 and don't know where to begin? What if I told you you can become a data analyst in the next 90 days without prior experience, prior education, and spending thousands of dollars in bootcamp? Hi, my name is Meer Kamdar and I switched my career to data analyst in the last five years. Despite having the education background in business, in accounting and marketing, this is the exact system that I use that you can follow to become a data analyst in the 90 days. So stick around till the end of the video and you will get a lot of value and I'll share a special bonus gift for you to get started on your journey to becoming a data analyst. Let's go through the 90 day system. First, I'll discuss a detailed roadmap on how to become a data analyst week by week. Next, I'll discuss the topics that you should learn for each week. Next, I'll discuss what path you can choose or what field you can choose and where you can implement your data analyst skills. I'll also discuss how you can build portfolio to showcase to your employers to get a job in data as a data analyst. And finally, I'll discuss what you can do to prepare for your job interview. So in the first six weeks, these are the most important weeks of your building your skills as a data analyst. So the first two weeks, you should focus on learning Excel because this is one of the most important tools in your toolkit as a data analyst. You should learn how to use pivot tables, power query for automating and transforming data. You should implement real world projects such as combining sales data from multiple sources. In the third and the fourth week, you should learn SQL, which is the language of the database. SQL stands for structured query language. You should learn how to extract, join, manage data. You should learn how to create reports from customers and sales data, for example. In the fifth and the sixth week, you should focus on learning different visualization tools such as Power BI and Tableau. These are the most two important tools in the visualization space where you can create interactive dashboard and tell stories of your data to your audience. From seven to 10th week, you will now progress more into advanced data analysis. Over here, you should learn a programming language. Either you can choose Python or R, but the most widely used language in data analysis is Python. You should learn how to automate workflows, analyze data with different libraries such as Pandas, NumPy. Next, you should learn how you can implement all these libraries such as Pandas, NumPy, Matplotlib and apply it to a real world use case such as automating a weekly report or forecasting trends for sales. From 11th to 13th week, you should now focus on getting a job and building your portfolio using real world projects. First, you should focus on building portfolios using real world data sets such as building a sales analysis dashboard or a customer segment report. You can showcase this projects on a website called GitHub. Next, you should prepare for your job, which includes building your resume that caters to a data analyst role. You should focus on practicing interview questions. In this week, you should also focus on practicing SQL questions of how you can code. Same thing with Python. You should learn how to pass basic Python exercises that your future employer might ask you because every data analyst job in most cases will ask you for a test, whether it would be in SQL or Python or both. And they will also ask you more technical questions related to your skills and your experience. So now we'll discuss different tools that you should learn within Excel. So first you should focus on data cleaning. This is the most important part of being a data analyst because your data is not always clean. It's always is in raw format, which is unstructured data. So the tool that you can use for that is Power Query. Then you should learn different functions such as sum, average, percentage, min, max, count, if condition. Next, you should focus on pivot table because this is one of the most important tool as a data analyst in Excel, where you can just summarize data quickly by just dragging and dropping. Where you can slice and dice data easily. Next, you should focus on Power Query for automation, where you can connect the data to different data sources and you can combine and merge different data easily. Next, you should focus on SQL and the topics that you should learn in SQL. You should first start off with the data extraction process, where you should focus on a simple select star query. Next, you should focus on joining data. So you should learn all the different kind of joins in SQL whether it's a left join, right join, inner join, outer join, where you can combine data from different tables. And then finally, you should focus on data management. So then you should focus on how to optimize your SQL code because you will be working with large data sets. So that's where the fine tuning comes into the place. This is more advanced. Next, you should focus on data visualization. The important aspect in data visualization is building interactive dashboards and the tools that are used are mainly are Power BI and Tableau. These are the most popular tools in the dashboard space or in the visualization space. And storytelling is an important aspect of communicating your insight to a user. So storytelling is a, it's an art and a science 
where you have to use your creativity and the logical side of how to present a data. Next, you need to focus on real world applications. So for example, if you're building a executive dashboard for a C-suite, you have to focus on the most important KPIs. So for executive dashboard, you will focus on building KPIs at a more aggregate level. So for example, you will focus on building a total sales of the company or total sales by the year 2024 or 2025, for example. This is a different person looking at the same dashboard will look at more granularity. So for example, if a salesperson in North region will just want to focus on the total revenue for that region versus an executive will focus on the revenue for the whole company. So that's where you have to identify what are the most important KPIs for your dashboard. Next is Python. This is the most important programming language in data analysis. There are other programming languages as well, such as R, Julia. But the most widely used in data analysis and data science is Python. It has the most libraries and it's much easier to use. Syntax is much easier. So first you should focus on all your automating your workflow. So for example, if you're doing a manual task in Excel, try to automate the same task in Python, if you're generating a weekly report or a daily report in Excel, try to do the same task in Python. Like I said, it's a very powerful programming language. It has a lot of libraries, any libraries that you can think of. You can perform any task in Python, such as web development, data visualization, machine learning, cleaning data, building applications. It's a very versatile language. Next is using libraries that I mentioned. The most common library that's used for data analysis is Python. So under Python, you should learn how to aggregate, filter, how to visualize data, how to manipulate data for analysis. And next, once you're done with the, the analysis part, you can focus on machine learning, uh, where you can learn different libraries such as scikit-learn, which is especially for machine learning. So for example, you can use uh, scikit-learn to find out if there's a fraud in a bank. That's where scikit-learn will help to identify if there is any fraud on a particular transaction. Or if you want to forecast a sale for the next quarter or the next year. And I said I have a special bonus gift for you that I mentioned earlier in the video. So I've created a template, a schedule that you can use. You can download it from the description below. So this provides you with a day by day plan on the topics that you should learn and the tool that you should use. So for example, in from day one to day three, you should learn basic operations in Excel, such as how to format data, how to fix issues, how to create calculations. From day four to day seven, you should learn the essential functions, such as how to analyze data, clean data, how to track performance. And I've covered all the topics and the tools day by day that you should learn. And also I've given you a, an option to put a tick mark right next to each and every topic that you learn. This is a 90 day plan. I know it might seem a lot or it might seem like a crash course, but if you don't have the time to do it in 90 days, you can make it into a six month learning journey. It's up to you how you want to adjust. I did it in 90 days personally. So I think it's achievable if you put maybe three to four hours daily. Next, I want to discuss once you accomplish all these skills, what are your options as a data analyst? There are a couple of different options. So if you work in the healthcare or if you want to move into healthcare, you can become a data analyst in healthcare where your data analysis skills can be helpful. For example, to monitor and improve patient outcomes or finding out if your company follows all the compliances with the government or with analyzing patients' data. Next, you can also use your skills in finance as a data analyst. So you have a lot of options in finance, depending on what avenue you want to go into. So you can work in risk, investment, portfolio, trading, basic financial planning and analysis. So there are a lot of options that you can choose within finance. You can also work in marketing. So for example, identifying which social media platform is generating the most revenue or how to segment customers by product or uh, which marketing campaign is giving us the most revenue. So these are just few examples that you can apply your data analysis skill depending on your preference and depending on, on your option, you can select your field or industry. Next, you want to focus on building your portfolio. So once you acquire all these skill set, the most important part is to showcase your skills. skill set is by developing a portfolio, by doing a real world project. There are a lot of websites that you can use to get a real world data. So Kaggle is one of the most famous website for getting real world data. It's called K-A-G-G-L-E.com where you can download data and create uh, build projects using all these tools such as Excel, Power BI or Python. Next, you want to showcase this work that you create your portfolio. So you want to build your portfolio on a website called GitHub. So it's github.com where you can create your profile and showcase your work. And also you can link your work to your LinkedIn profile. So you can basically create a mini website 
in, on GitHub, and then you can connect that website to your LinkedIn profile. So that adds more credibility. If you don't have real-world experience in, um, as a data analyst, this project can be a substitute for your experience. And finally, for your job preparation, you want to build your resume where you showcase all these projects that you worked on your GitHub. So you want to have your GitHub profile on your resume. And also you want to cater your experience and to data analyst, depending on the role that you're applying for. Next, you want to practice to solve technical questions within SQL and Python. So your employer, your potential future employer will ask you to take a test on SQL and Python or one or the other. They will ask you to take a live exam or they will give you with certain scenario and they will ask you, how would you write this code? So you need to practice these technical questions. And finally, you should network with other people. A good platform is LinkedIn, where you have all the people, all the companies, all the HR, and also you can connect someone within your network as working as a data analyst to get advice or hopefully to get your um, resume a foot in the door. And finally, I want to discuss, I have a resource for each and every section of uh, what we discuss in the video. Uh, I've linked to all these sources, uh, resources in the description below. And also as a bonus gift, I have a free Excel course on data analytics for almost two, in, two hours and 15 minutes that you can check it out, where I teach everything about data analytics in Excel in detail. Here's a short introduction to the video. I've also linked this video in the description below. In this video, you'll be learning about Excel data analytics. There are several topics we'll be covering. First, we'll start off with using Power Query, where you will learn how to clean and transform data. The next step would be Power Pivot, where you will build relationships, do data modeling, and use DAX to create calculated columns and measures. And the third step, you'll be learning how to build reports using pivot tables. In the fourth step, you'll learn about visualization and how you can use different charts to bring your data to life. And in the final step, which is the dashboard, where you'll create a real world project, where you'll incorporate each and every step of different tools that you've learned, such as Power Query, Power Pivot, pivot tables, and charts. You'll be creating this Excel dashboard that you see on the screen. Thank you for watching the video. And if you found this video to be helpful, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so next time when i drop a video youtube can notify you